What's happening, fam? LAR Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. This video is entitled The Hypocrisy of the Cancel Culture. You know, I sit back and I look at this stuff and I look and I'm like, it's one thing that to, for a person, for you to expose a person for being a hypocrite, but the cancel culture is a, is hypocritical in itself. Because when somebody says something that you don't like or does something that you don't like, you arbitrarily say you're going to cancel them. And like it's a permanent thing. As if, so you don't really take into consideration this person's track history. You know, some of the times you do. But they said this, I don't like this, we canceling them. Uh, this is a show of force and power. Uh, I'm done. Well, here's a problem. Who are you? See, people, like if you don't want to, if, you, if you're saying, look, boy, if you're saying you're going to boycott something and not to participate in something because you want to send a message that you're not going to get I'm not going to support this. That's one thing. But a lot of these intentions for canceling people and canceling certain things doesn't look like you, you're you not going to support certain detrimental things. What it looks like is you're trying to be a quote unquote, a cancel rights activist. So you can be, you know, on the top of, I cancel this. I can, when I say cancel something, all these people come around me and I'm the king of the queen of canceling. So if you need something canceled or you need to pay off somebody to let something slide, come holler at me. No. You know, the other thing about this, this cancel culture, you can't cancel the people who are in the cancel culture. See, everybody, everybody that they cancel can be wrong. But when they're wrong, they get, you can't cancel them. Like, I'm, I'm done with you. That was just one time. That was just a mistake. No, 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 no. If, if the premise is, if they make a mistake, you got to cancel them. If you make a mistake, I got to cancel you. You don't, you don't get a pass on that. You know? But, you know, here's why I'm going to cancel them because they're at a higher level than me. They make more money than me. So they should be rich enough to get canceled and high. So so this ain't really about, sometimes this isn't really about um, an actual issue. This is about you hating on people more successful than you. Now, if somebody did some wrong things and, and they get paid for it, I get it. You don't like that. I can understand that. But, Wanting to, 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 to push for people to not make money again for the rest of their lives, you know, is ridiculous because it's the same thing with, um, you know, the NFL and their policies, you know, it's, that's the cancel culture. They should never play, take their money away. Every time you hear a brother, when a brother gets in a situation, take their money away, take their job away for life. But then when it happens to you, you, you want sympathy from the public. You, don't, you feel like people, people should cancel you for that situation, but they shouldn't cancel your ability to make a living for the rest of your life. But with other people that you want to cancel, you want to cancel their ability to make a living for the rest of their lives. So, so you just want them to be destitute because you don't like what they did. And I'm not talking about a criminal action per se, like, some, like even things that may be a criminal action. If... If there's a certain amount of time allowed to, or a certain fine allowed to, to doing these things, let that person get that. And if, and if there's a certain social uh, uh, backlash from that, let that person get that too. But to, to bar somebody for something for life, that's ridiculous. Now, the other hypocrisy of it is you get to tell other people when to, when to start and when to stop. You know, remember when we're going to boycott Gucci for six months. Who told you I was going to boycott Gucci? Who told you you get to tell me if I was, I'm going to stop six months from now? Because you offended. Huh? 
Huh. So you letting Gucci know because you say so that all these people are going to do what you say for six months. Because the other thing about this, the, the culture is if you cancel something, that's it. Y'all canceling this and canceling that and canceling this person, canceling this business, canceling this person, canceling this this show, canceling this. But here's the problem. If it's canceled, how come y'all keep bringing this shit up? Because if it's canceled, it's over. Like if a TV show is canceled, it ain't no show. No more. Move on to the next show. That one ain't going to be talked about no more. That's over. But when y'all cancel stuff... A month later, you talking about the thing you canceled a month ago. So you still giving it life or it's still living. Which one is it? Now, you know, part of the hypocrisy is also a lot of the cancel culture is canceling frivolous things. Things, you know, you know, and, 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 I'm, and I might be wrong to say that, but the things that people want to cancel don't really seem important. You know. Let's cancel the chicken sandwich. It's just a chicken sandwich. Let's cancel using this hair product because they had a bad a commercial I didn't like. But you're gonna buy other people's hair product, right? Because you still got hair, right? Let's cancel listening to this person's music because of they did this and I don't like it. But your playlist got people in it that tell you to do way worse stuff and you listen to that. Watch. You know, look, don't listen to R. Kelly no more. We canceling him. But my playlist say, kill it motherfucker now. Yeah. You gonna cancel that? You know, this this girl album say, you know, act like you gonna have sex with him and rob him. Yeah, you're not gonna cancel that. You're not gonna. Mm -mm. That that ain't that ain't a problem. Huh? No, not really. Uh -huh, not a problem. That actually is a problem. It is. You know, but you know they didn't do nothing I didn't like yet. Which becomes more of a um, a childish thing of not everybody gotta gotta walk on eggshells for all these imaginary people that they don't know because I'm offending people who I don't know I'm offending and if I if I've offended somebody that I didn't even know existed I'm gonna get canceled because they have the power because a stranger has the power to be so offended they're gonna cancel me for something I didn't even know I did to them. And by the way, a lot of the people in this cancel culture, the things that they promote, that they think are functional, are very dysfunctional. You might have a, 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 a legitimate point. I cancel this because of this situation. But the things that you people promote, this is okay. No, it's not. So now people got to look at you like, so you're against this, and you're going to cancel this because you think it's destructive and dysfunctional and detrimental to, to society. But at the same time, you're going to co-sign this that's destructive, dysfunctional, and detrimental to society? So you acting like this. So at some, at some point, the negative parts of this is going to come out and you're going to be involved with it. We're going to cancel you, right? No, but it's different. No, that's different. It's not the same. Yes, the hell it is. This is why I say it's a hypocrisy of the cancel culture. Because it's only canceling, you know, people's agendas. It's, it's, it's creating an agenda to cancel to give you a platform to say you are on a, that, that you got some kind of power. So eventually somebody's going to pay you for your power of canceling. But, so it wasn't really real about anything anyways. It was about self Self-promotion. 
So you killing somebody else's promotion to promote yourself, but and you make sure you don't want to be uh, and, and and put yourself in a position where nobody cancels you, and you can't handle the karma of that. That's ridiculous. But I'm done. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.